Do you remember your first day in high school? I bet you do. Cause even though you might not know it, it is the most important day in everybody's high school journey. First impressions are everything, whether you like it or not. How you present yourself on that fateful day will determine your initial ranking in the social system. Obviously, you can change your character over time, but it's kinda like those first 10 competitive games that determine your initial rank in a video game. So you don't wanna be thrown in a low elo group cause the climb from there will be much harder compared to if you start off high already. I attended two high schools, so I've had two first days. First of which was pretty basic. I didn't have any goals set prior, so I kind of just ended up hanging with the people I knew from middle school. But there was a fire in my heart. I wasn't happy with being just a normal guy. I wanted to be a giga chad with unlimited riz. So when I transferred schools to play basketball, I knew it was time for a respec. Unfortunately, going to a new school where you don't know a single person is harder than I thought. Especially because I had hung out with the same friends for the last 10 years, so my talk to new people skill was zero. Thankfully, I had a passive ability to carry me through the entirety of high school called being tall. That's the entire ability, that, that's really all I had. So thankfully, even though I didn't start a single convo that day, a lot of the students in our class kinda just introduced themselves to me. Now it was time for that stupid welcome back to school ceremony. I understand why they do it, I just don't get why they have to make it so long and boring every time. Just give us the details and be done with it, but no. Here's Greta from music class presenting her song, I love school, ya yeah, ya yeah, ya. Yeah. And don't even get me started on those motivational speeches those sweaty teachers give. Like, bro, please. Stop it. Get some help. But after the opening ceremony came the most grueling part of the day. It was time to pick my seat in the classrooms. And if you think that picking your seat is not grueling, then you've probably never been in a situation where you were the new kid at a school. I didn't want to sit alone cause well that's not the vibe I was going for. But I also didn't want to be in that awkward situation where you go ask someone like Hey man can I sit here? Nah bro it's taken. Uh okay well I'll just sit here. Nah my friend Octavius is sitting there y you can't sit there. Okay well f you then. Asshole. So my plan was to be the first in class and sit down at a good position, hoping that someone would just come and sit with me. But alas, it was almost time for the lesson to begin, and I was still alone, scared for my future, when finally a girl comes into class and sits next to me, cause she was totally rizzed. Nah, actually there was just nowhere else to sit, so she didn't have a choice, but I considered it a victory. I repeated this tactic for all the other classes and I ended up having someone to sit next to in every class. Anyway, if you're watching this and you're going to a new school, my tips are don't overanalyze it cause people are actually more friendly than you might think. But yeah, that's about it. This video was shorter than I thought it was gonna be but I hope you still enjoyed it. See you in the next one.